cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. Hello, how are you doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here with a very special guest. It is Luke, who happens to be a owner of a private company in the CBD space. How are you doing today, Luke? Doing great. I'm very excited today. I've been talking about CBDs and obviously cannabis stocks for close to two years on YouTube now and all the social media platforms on richtvlive.com. And today we're going to learn about the benefits of cannabinoids. And I'm very excited about learning about the benefits of cannabinoids and getting a chance to talk to someone that's actually in the industry. So why don't we just get started with that? Like, what are the benefits of cannabinoids? Yeah, so um, the body is... Uh it was designed to actually um, have receptors to absorb it naturally. Your body actually produces cannabinoids. We have an inner cannabinoid system, and it's in direct correlation with our uh, body's functions so that it regulates your body and you, you have your systems all working in conjunction. Called The, the best way to sum it up is called homeostasis. Um, and then over time, your body, and they, they believe it becomes uh, because of omega-3 deficiency, um, and, that, and that's actually in hemp C. There's a lot of omega-3 in, in that. Uh, so if you have low um, omega-3, then you start to produce less CBD, your body naturally. Wow. So CBD works in conjunction. It's like melatonin, but it's just it really is great for regulating your body so that the cell replication is natural and there's not mutations, which creates inflammation issues and illnesses and such. And... I've heard people say that CBDs have helped them with cancer. I've heard people say that it's helped them with pain. I've heard people say it's helped them with um, like so many different things, anxiety, uh, epilepsy, seizures. I, I mean, so many things. Like I've heard something like over a hundred uh, different causes. It helps. Uh, can you get into that a little bit? Like, do you have any research? Or have you yeah. got any studies? Yeah, well, there's based on there's that? a lot of different um, peer review studies online. Um, so there's, we can definitely add a link um, in so that there's a, there's a, every ailment, they have a, a, a whole list of peer review studies around the world. Wow. Uh, one of the, the largest collections. Um, so uh, the other thing is that it really goes down to the cellular level. Um, everything happens when you, know, you have that mutation. Of that of that cell, um, where there's a, a mutated protein, uh, a lot of the times it gets in, um, and you're, you're essentially uh, when it's being replicated, your cell, you know, you have it where there's um, something a malnutrition that happens, you get inflammation, and it, it and it creates these it, all, almost all illnesses are inflammation based. Hmm. So if you're able to reprogram your cell to replicate itself effectively, creating that homeostasis, and CBD goes in and really protects the cell. And it stops a lot of the free radicals from getting in and just really makes a natural uh, cell replication. And that's where it kind of puts things back into its proper homeostasis. And I keep on using that word because it's really what sums it up is that your body works in conjunction. But things over time, because of food, because of um, issues within the air that you breathe and toxins and your cells get affected from that and they start to break down in the DNA and you start to get malmutations in the cell wow and i know that you this is your website right now um can you let everybody know how to go to your website and what the website is for yeah so prairiepure.ca uh, um canadian company uh, we've got farms in saskatchewan uh, we've been growing um it's a lower yield uh, cbd uh, this season we're getting in higher yield seeds for next season because the genetics are opening up. Uh, so we are basically growing on about 5,000 acres. We've got 15,000 wow. acre capacity um, that we're going to stretch it to for next season. Wow. And we'll have a higher yield seed. We're getting an average about one to two kilos of isolate, CBD isolate uh, per acre, which will uh, jump by five to 10 uh, times that for next season, wow. depending on the availability of seeds. And we're looking uh, extensively into the European market for that. Because it's the same kind of climate and, you know, it's these strains, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of issues and the, the big one is males because males drop your CBD count. So the more females you have, the higher the CBD. Um, so uh, 
and then you have to, you know, cut it down at a certain time, you know, because right now the Canadian market was built for grain. Now, the grain farmers really got killed when uh, Manitoba Harvest dumped a lot of uh, seed. They've been importing it real cheap from China. And a lot of these farmers have been hurting because they need to make at least a thousand an acre. So we've been able to negotiate really good contracts that um, are a great deal for the farmers, ultimately building a co-op. Um, so that we're locking in a lot of these farms and that we can also uh, bring some of that CBD back to the farm. We're uh, in touch with Indigenous communities as well to do some similar programs. So there's a lot of land, obviously, in Canada. Yes. Canada has a great name for agriculture. Yes. Uh, it's a perfect place to ship Vancouver here. You know, we're right Asian market. Right on the port city. Port city. Yeah, exactly. Europe, they just eat it all up. They love it there. They can't even keep it on the shelves. Wow. So the faster we can get it, the better. As of yesterday, now we can ship to the States. Nice. Um, it be scheduled. So there's just so much opportunity. This is the right time, right place. So we're taking advantage of that. Uh, we, we started out as a beverage company, a CBD beverage company, two years ago. And we had lots of success with getting into many stores globally, including 7-Eleven. Wow. Um, the NFL has been really gracious for us to get into five locker rooms this year. So the athletes have really loved it as well. If you notice, the concussions went down a bit this last season. Wow. So uh, it makes impressive. the play more elastic. So if you drink it before you play, it actually protects your brain. So it's a, a major wow. neural protector, CBD, as well. So you're Don't telling me you're that. telling me it gives you some type of a, a like a protection over your brain when you when you do yeah yeah it makes your brain more elastic is, wow. is what the scientists are saying now so that is amazing uh, it just it just it, it, our bodies are designed to handle CBD and it's you know with the deficiency and with hemp being taken away out of our diets for the last hundred years you know, the body's been getting messed up you know all these cancers and everything's been going up now we're returning to it's just like if insects were taken away from birds. You know, it's like, you know, that, that kind of cycle of life. Uh, hemp was always around humans. And then it got taken away because of, obviously, special interests. But now we're in a very special time, like a watershed moment. And I wish everyone would take advantage of it. And this is what we've done is to help re really um, put together a plug-and-play model that anyone can come in. We're very open about knowledge. We want to grow the industry. Um, and, uh, and then we have basically passed that co-packing lines. And this is what we do. You know, you put it into products and stuff like that. These are roller balls. You know, you put it topically on the skin. And this is kind of an end product. But, you know, when you process it into something that is water soluble, you take it away from oil because you, anyone can extract the oil. And, and the oil is obviously where this thing is really taken off. But there's lots of THC in it and it's full spectrum. So it's not an accurate dose. When you can reconstitute something, you can take every cannabinoid out and you can make it water soluble, then you make it 17 times more bioavailable for the body. Wow. So that's how you can put it into a beverage and not have any taste. So this wow. is the future. That's why Coca-Cola is jumping on the, on the bandwagon now. We've had a Constellation brand. We're involved in talks with many beverage companies um, in positioning, uh, bringing them into Europe. Uh, we'll bring a lot of uh, different brands, especially in Canada, over to Europe. Uh, we have a distribution center in the UK, um, and then we have an online plus through uh, a bunch of uh, um, in-store accounts. So wow. we, we can help in that capacity, and we bring a lot of products over for other people. So can you sell in Canada right now? Like, where are you selling your product? What can you legally do and where? So everyone knows the landscape of it right now. Yeah, so um, as part of the uh, bill, um, C45, that uh, passed, industrial hemp was an aspect of that. And as of this season, August 10th, you're allowed to store hemp flour. Okay. That was the first step because essentially the farmers weren't allowed to do that. They actually just let it burn it or dispose of it, believe it or not, wow. before this. So they were allowed the grain and the fiber, but not the flour. Wow. So part of this bill, he scheduled CBD and allowed it to be allow them to um, – send that flour to licensed uh, processors, process it, and then we can sell it into the medical market in Canada, um, and then uh, as of October 17th, and then also we're able to bring it over to Europe. So Europe, there's 550 million Europeans, and we got free trade CETA agreement. So it's a perfect opportunity. We're working with the Canadian government. We've, um, there's trade office uh, there. We're working with a trade office in China as well, in uh, Shanghai. 
uh, 27 uh, agents on the ground that are uh, helping us uh, put the plan and the strategy together Correct. to bring big names over to China as well. Wow. Uh, so there's there's a lot of opportunity. Um, and then as the state's just being opened up. So globally, um, the markets are all there. And Canada has a lot of land, great water, um, great agriculture, no heavy metals, and, uh, and great for exporting. Now, I know you have isolate. <laughs> yes. And I know that isolate is a big part of this because it is um can you explain what isolate is and how it's so important to this and how you may have one of the largest i guess you i mean you can say it yourself but do you not have one of the largest amounts of isolate probably anywhere yes yeah we have um we have farms in the states um that uh, we've been cultivating um with and uh we have about uh I would say uh, 6,500 kilos of isolate. So what that what that works out to is uh, essentially um, from the flour we extract the oil, and then we have uh, distillated and, and, and dried. Uh, you can get distillate as well, and distillate, believe it or not, is worth more on the market because it's heavier, just because of water content and isolate. But wow. distillate is amazing because you can use it as vape juice compound. Um, Great. So uh, right now, a lot of the stuff is they're using PGBG, which is it's a petroleum based product and it's it's like asbestos and people are starting to have issues where they get scar tissue in their lung so distillate is is all natural something we have is these uh these vape pens these kits that come in uh you know these cartridges these 510 cartridges so it's a closed loop system and then put the distillate inside there and it's a rechargeable uh battery um so that's with distillate the first process out of it uh full spectrum is kind of tough as i was saying before because uh, it doesn't taste good it doesn't mix with stuff well um, and, um, and then additionally, uh, you, you can't get the same levels all the time. It's very hard because every time you grow a plant, even if it's right next to each other, it could be different levels of cannabinoids. So it's very hard. So if you can extract and isolate to one single compound, then now you can use it as medicine. You can put it into products. But the issue with isolate, um, has been, is that the bell curve. You get it in your bloodstream, it goes up and it goes down. Kind of like coffee, let's just say, right? You get it up and then you get it down. Where with water soluble, you know, when it's turned into, uh, we put it into these one liter bottles. And uh, as I said, it's in these roller balls, you've got a uh, nice uh, oral spray that you can put in your mouth. And there's different flavors and stuff. There's no taste to it. It's in the water. It's a performance, a sports performance drink. You know, people don't want to have a funny tasting water. No, sorry. To- no, that has no THC in it, correct? Zero THC, because you're taking it to one compound. Then you've got isolate. So isolate is great, and it sells every day, and that's what everyone's uh, using now. But the next level is nano emulsification, um, and that makes it so that it's 17 times more bioavailable. We'll include a link that gives a scientific uh, journal out of Europe, explains um, all the solubility tests. Um, and then there's, no, there's not that bell curve. You get six to eight hours in your bloodstream as well as it absorbs really well through the skin because it's uh, good for topicals because the particle is one eight hundredth the size of your blood cell surrounded by lipid and that makes it absorb easily through the skin, get past your liver if you digest it and get into your GI tract. The only thing that's comparable is a suppository. Wow. And one thing I've noticed is to get CBDs, you're taking the non-THC part of the cannabis plant. Is that correct? of the industrial hemp plant of the There's industrial hemp plant. around hemp hemp is less regulatory it's easier to ship around the world as soon as we get into cannabis it's only medical okay. where a lot of markets are food grade so we're able to hit a lot more products perfect and if someone was watching this a public company and they wanted some isolate um an investor that wants to maybe get involved a partner that wants to work with you, uh, someone that wants to buy your product from Europe potentially, or um, as of October 17th, someone that medically wants to buy your product, someone in America that would like your product, someone that wants to distribute or sell your product. How can they do that, Luke? Yeah, so um, they can either uh, go to uh, to our website at prairiepure.ca and then uh, just fill out the uh, request information form, check out our products in our catalog, and uh, it's got a lot of great information on there. And then we can answer any of your questions. You know, we'll have someone reach out to you directly. Um, and then we can just see there's a lot of opportunity here. Everyone has a, a piece in this. You know, this is about humanity. It's about bringing back success. It's about bringing back health. 
for the world. And I just think there's, you know, there's a real um, passion um, that's out there. And the more we can build our tribe, the better is the way that we feel. I love it. Luke, thank you so much for your time today. Let's do this again. I will be watching you and we will be following you very closely. Congratulations on all of your success so far. And we wish you all the best in all of your future endeavors, my friend. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Cheers. Bye.